بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Welcome to uh, this week's Companions of the Prophet Reminder I pray that you and all your families are well inshallah in this very difficult time بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب الشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأهل الأقضة من لساني يفقه قولي The Sahaba which I would like to mention in this week's reminder is Abdullah ibn Jash just to give some background about this great Sahaba at the time of Mecca when the Sahaba the Muslims were allowed to travel to Abyssinia to protect them from the severe torture of the Quraysh Abu Jash and his Abdullah ibn Jash and his family and his entire tribe uh, emigrated as a consequence of this the houses were left empty in Mecca and what happened was that Abu Jahl who was one of the leaders of the Quraysh against the Muslims uh, occupied uh, Abdullah ibn Jash's house and gave away uh, all of its belongings so very early on we see that Abdullah ibn Jash uh, gave up uh, everything uh, for the sake of Islam. Uh, the next story uh, which uh, I would just like to expand upon uh, just shows, demonstrates the importance of the Sahaba uh, for us as Muslims. Um, in the Quran we have uh, stories of the previous prophets and uh, the tests which they endured and also though we have the tests uh, and information about the tests which the Muslims faced at the time of uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So they have, we have many stories in the Quran of the past, but we also have many uh, instances of the Quran telling us about events which happened in the time of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of these events is now the story turns to Medina when the Muslims have performed hijrah and are now in Medina and Abdullah ibn Jash was appointed uh, the leader of the first military expedition in which Rasulullah uh, asked Abdullah ibn Jash to monitor uh, a Qureshi caravan that was passing so Rasulullah gave a letter to Abdullah ibn Jash and his small uh, contingent of Muslims uh, to open this letter on the second day of their travel so they were to reach a point uh, and told to open this letter when they opened this letter after leaving Medina Abdullah ibn Jash was in, informed in this letter that he should uh, now travel further on and monitor this caravan of the Quraysh. So this event is also known as the Nakhla uh, expedition. On arriving and watching the uh, Quraysh uh, caravan that was traveling, the Muslims uh, consulted each other and decided that they would raid the caravan, which was not the initial instruction given by the Prophet Wasallam. Uh, in this, um, some prisoners were taken of the Quraysh and when this uh, expedition returned to Medina, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam admonished uh, Abdullah ibn Jash because this was not the instruction that had been given to him and at this all the Muslims that had taken part in the expedition were quite embarrassed and Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam waited for revelation uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as to how to proceed um, after uh, a few days um, the revelation came and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Baqarah verse 212 said they ask you about fighting in the sacred month say fighting therein is an enormity as well as preventing people from the path of God and disbelief in him. Expelling people from the Masjid Al-Haram is greater sin 
in the eyes of God. Moreover, persecution is greater than killing. So what had happened was that this caravan which the Muslims had raided and was this event happened in the sacred months when all the Arabs had agreed that there would be no fighting. So when this caravan of Quraysh was raided, uh, the Quraysh spread this rumor that the Muslims had um, broken this uh, treaty of not fighting in the sacred months and were using this against the Muslims. And so this was a worry on top of the fact that Rasul had not asked Abdullah ibn Jash and his expedition to do this. But when this revelation came down about this incident, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised the Muslims uh, for what they had done and put it into a context that though what had happened uh, was something that they had been advised not to do, but what was a greater sin in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was that Muslims had been expelled uh, from uh, Mecca, that Muslims were being stopped from returning to Mecca to perform the Hajj. And this, in, in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was a greater sin. And at the end of this ayah, Allah mentions, moreover, persecution is greater than killing. So in fact, Zulm uh, is greater than killing in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, Jazakallah khair for your time. I hope Allah uh, protects us all and any mistakes in this reminder are my own. And all khair is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.